Now in the previous video we explored uh, E of X and we came to a result where in general we can now say that E of AX plus B so essentially a linear coding of um, the random variable x is equal to a times e of x plus b. So this is a very useful result. Now if you want to see a, a proof of that as to why that would always be the case then what you want to think about is what that is. So we know that that will be the sum of uh, so e of x is r times the product of x being equal to r. So this would be a r plus b. So each of the r values in your table has been coded to that times by the probabilities that were exactly the same as before. And then what you can do is you can break that summation apart. And so you've got a r times the probability of x being equal to r plus the sum of b times the probability of x being equal to r. And from your knowledge of the uh, sigma notation, we can factor the a outside of this. Oh, p. Like so. And here we can factor the b out. And of course here, the sum of r, p of x equaling r is e of x. And this is the sum of all the probabilities, which we know is just 1. So here we've got b times 1. And so what we've shown is that e of ax plus b is a e of x plus b. And so we can use this result um, from now on.